So the 15 meter band or 21 megahertz stretches from 21.0 to 21.450 and it's all been divided up. Uh, obviously predominant mode is check the band plan, band plan. So Morse code is from 21.0 to 21.070. 21.070 to 21.149 is data modes, FTA, JT65, all that stuff. 21.149 to 21.151 is beacon projects, so HF beacons and the like. And for single sideband is 21.151 to 21.450, and that's the part I'm interested in. So our center frequency is going to be 21.299, but I'm going to round it up to 21.3. Now to find out the length of this half wave dipole, we take the length, that equals 468 divided by 21.3, which gives us a 21.971 feet. To find out what each leg of the dipole is going to be, we divide out by 2, which gives us 10.985 feet. And to convert that to meters, 10.985 divided by 3.281 so each leg of the dipole is going to be 3.34 meters now the best thing to do when building dipoles is to cut it longer than you need to because it's easier to take off than it is to add on and obviously when I built the 6 meter end fed halfway thing I cut a bit too much off and had to solder a bit on so each leg is going to, I'm going to make it 3 point, or should we call it 3 point, let's call it 3.5 metres. Because what I can do is I can cut, cut it off or I can fold it back on itself when I got the end wire, end wire on the dog bone insulator. And the wire I'm going to be using, and yes I know it's pink, is a multi strand wire, it's fairly fairly flexible stuff very strong as well anyway let's um, get the cutters out and uh, see how far we get okay and so what we've done so far I've got some ring terminals and I have soldered the, um, the wire see a bit on that one uh, these ring terminals are cheap anyway this is in a pack of well, quite a few, including a uh, wire strip and cutters from Maplin. And I fed the wire through the hole, looped it round, and I've put a zip tie, or cable tie, whatever you want to call it, just for a bit of a strain relief. Also, I've tied it on the dog bone connector. It's not a brilliant connection, and I've used my best climbing figure of eight not to secure it. So, um Time to take it outside and see what it's like on the um, the internaliser. Now the band is closed, so I might not get a contact, but you know you, you never know. Right, so I've got the dipole up pretty much. Um, if you can just see that, that's one leg, and the other leg just underneath the tree here. <coughs> leg is slightly longer than the other that's probably because of the um angle i've got it at but um let's have a look at the meter so where are we let's do the whole band so it's a bit high on the cwn not interested so it's a fairly flat swr curve so that's 15 meters. Um, that's what it was like on the other band. I think someone was saying it's um, 15 meters is the quarter wave on 40. So, love of range. Yeah, it's not. <laughs> yeah. Not bothered by that anyway.
get onto the right frequency dial down here, it will work better that way. Hmm, that's enough of that. Anyway, so there we go, the uh, 15 metre band and typical my luck is that there's a solar storm so all the bands are closed. I might actually um, set the radio up in the shed as normal and just have a tune around, why not? Let's see what happens. Well there we go, that was easy enough to get it tuned up. Um, I did have to cut a bit of wire off the ends but um, not too much. And it um, resonates perfectly on the SSB portion of the band. Now usually at the end of these videos I do a video of me getting a contact on the band. And I did get one. My friend six miles away. And he was fairly low signal anyway. I could hear him though. I recognised the voice anywhere. And exchange signal reports he was 2v2. And I was five to one, five by one to him. He was on the end fed half wave and I was with the dipole, so not a DX contact by any means, but it proved it does work. But unfortunately, like I said, the bands are dead. So maybe in a month or two, when the band does open up, and I'm hoping it will, I'll be able to get some contacts with it. And when I do, I'll definitely bring the camera with me. So anyway, that's it for this video. Thank you very much for watching, and I know it's been a long time since I've uploaded a video, but hopefully I'll start releasing videos again. It's been too long. Anyway, until next time, thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button if you enjoyed this video. Why not share it? And if it's your first time here, why not hit that subscribe button? Until next time, 70 fees, good DX, and um, see you later. Bye for now.